how was your day everybody i know you're all excited thinking yay today so we were having a discussion with my friend Anneli Siswan about having sex in this day and age because a lot of times we thinking sex is between men and women and you know men and men and when women and women it's still it's still taboo even though as South Africa we're the first country in Africa if not in the world to actually um you know allow same-sex marriage so we decided let's talk about this issue of sex because sometimes some people might have um, sexual encounters with people that they cannot really identify whether it's a man or a woman and they say later on hey, if you, no i mean i was not aware what to get out hey, hey, what what or sometimes you find a lady who is who is very butch and very mature and later on they're thinking well i thought you're a you're a guy my guy you know or, so we want to unpack this whole um, having sex without labels, if it's even possible that people can have sex without labeling themselves, because there's a difference between sex, there's a difference between sex, gender, and sexuality. Sexuality is the way you see yourself, how you get attracted, and how you fall in love with um, the other gender, or the same gender, in fact. So as I'm waiting for Anela to come through, that's what I'll be talking about. I want us to discuss sexual um attraction to say when you are attracted to somebody um how does it even form in your head that now you are sexually attracted to somebody and what does that mean because a lot of times we think Hori, um if you're a man you gotta be sexually attracted to women only or if you're gay you have to be um you know attracted to to men only or people of the same sex or lesbian or part of the alphabet gang but we know that a lot of times things happen where you know, and that's the thing. Women are allowed to have, um, sort of to even say things, you know, to, to other women, but yo, baby girl, your boobs, you know, your boobs are giving me life. Your boobs didn't pull but a man cannot say that outright. Sometimes you say to a guy, yo, that guy's got a hot body and say, Hey, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know if he's sexy or not, you know? So I want us to, to really unpack these things and tell a lot of truth. Because sometimes we think that these things are in our head, so therefore we cannot share that kind of information. So I'm hoping Anel will join me um, shortly because this is something that we need to unpack. He texted me earlier on to say that he's got some emergency, so I'm hoping that he can be able to, to pull through um, so that we can be able to, to continue uh with this interesting topic in fact what i want us to do i want us to make it a series because there's just so much okay analyst ready now there's just so much to unpack on this thing so i'm gonna go straight into it it's not structured you know how our um, our chats are not are not structured they are straight into into into, into, into we go straight into the topic so analyst as I'm saying again, welcome to Facebook, Facebook uh, followers. Um, you're going to find all the information. Hello. Okay. Hey, Jan. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Yo, and I'm so there. When I was there, I said, Dakshi, I was in Donald's Bonasa, I in the Zago. Kaleko, you're talking about sex in general. <laughs> Oh, I shall sex we're about sex. And we, can we just discuss this without labels? The fact that I decided to <laughs> feel myself is a Monday be an MCM and for sexy. Don't put a label on me, Adel. <laughs> no, I can't. I, when I, even if I were to put a label, it won't work. It won't work. <laughs> no, it wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fluid like that, hey. <laughs> no, when I, you, you are a typical example of going against the grain of how we define pleasure and desire and that's the thing um and i, I always look back and say thanks god or thank the, the, the gods and the way i was raised because i was never raised to live within a box so i don't know when you put yourself within a box to say what that what, what does that mean so let's just go straight into it Anneli. let's talk about i want to just say let's talk about sex obviously we're talking about sex what is what is sexual interaction let's start there before we talk about sexual attraction you know i um i admit i i love sex because it's a natural thing 
Hi, your name is Anele and you love sex. Hi, Anele. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, <laughs> as a psychologist, as I am, as I'm cool, as a, as a, in, like sex is part of life. There is yeah. no yeah. amount of something that is great than the experience of being intimately or sexually involved with someone. I mean, the, think of the weirdest. I always say to people is uh, uh, when I do couples work, there's no way that sex can ever have have can ever have, 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 have decency. No, sex can't be decent. Yeah. It's wow. Sex shouldn't be decent. So love making can be decent, but sex cannot be decent. Not even love making because you mean the sounds you make. I mean, you become wild. You you wow. leave your most repressed ways of being a human. Like sex takes out that thing. There's no one who becomes decent. You may be the quietest person ever, an mm. introvert. Mara, it is bad time. Introversion. <laughs> Out of the window. Out of the window. So, okay, cool. So sex, if it's not wild, it's not sex. You can't be decent and say, um, I can't be this wild yet because I don't want you to think, well, you know, I'm too busy or I'm too wild in bed. No. Wow. No, okay. I mean, really, like, it's, sex is like God connected Adam and Eve through what? Through sex. Through an apple. No, the apple. How do we know the apple? What, what was it? What was it symbolically representing? Listen, the holy book, the Bible says, the apple from the middle tree in the Garden of Eden, which the snake took a bite first, and then the story goes. So we're not going to. <laughs> so let's talk about. Let, let's let's talk about. <laughs> let's talk about sexual attraction because a lot of time we're thinking that because you were socialized in a specific way and they they've given you sexuality of they assigned sexuality to say. You are straight, therefore you only sleep with women and only be attracted to women, or you are gay or you are bisexual. What is sexual attraction? What happens in the mind when you get sexually attracted? And after this, I want us to talk about the different senses that go into sexual attraction. What is sexual attraction? I think for me, that is Aaron, we can't govern and police sex through gender, mm -hmm. right? We have used gender, being male or female, right? You are assigned as either male or a female. We socialize you into being or acting towards the way which you were assigned at birth. If you've got a penis, we assume that this penis is going to go to a vagina. We assume yeah. if you've got a vagina, you need a penis and all of that. But mm -hmm. what sexual orientation and sexual fluidity has made us to think deeper and more broadly is that there's no way we can ever put a label and govern desire and pleasure on the basis of gender. Hence, uh -huh. it's going to be easy for me or anybody else to be attracted to a human being not attaching any gender. If for me, as a gay man that I identify as, Today, I feel like having a woman. My mm. desire and pleasure at that moment is not governed by my gender, but it's governed by my desire. So attraction at some point, Aaron, the reason why we even have MSM and women sleeping with men and men sleeping with men, the, the nature of that way of how that person engages with it, their desire and what pleasures them is not the gender, but it is... Let me see if I get you right. You say that, for yeah. instance, um, you use yourself as an example. As a, as a queer man, you say that you can have a desire to sleep with a woman and successfully have sex with a woman, but that does not make you straight or heterosexual. Because biologically, I can. As... Biologically, I can. Biologically, you can. Like yeah. MSM, like you say, men, men having sex with other men. So let's say two straight men or two so-called straight men, heterosexual men, meaning that they're only attracted to women... Um, they sleep with women. If they decide to have sex, the two of them, does it keep them still heterosexual? Yeah. It's, it's, it's about desire and pleasure. It's sexual expression. It's not sexual mm. orientation. Did you hear me? Sexual friend, expression, expression. Not sexual orientation. Uh -huh. No. It's, it's, it's how those two men at that time desire each other. Not mm. romantically. But physically. 
and that's possible anele yeah it is possible i i don't desire you i i desire that which i'm desiring ya khalela as a man and it doesn't make me gay so a straight man can see another straight man a gemin in the locker room thinking hmm from, from a desire perspective from a desire perspective hmm from a desire perspective completely yeah. i i generally out bana yes as ya bana apa ngathi ngaphumuthule the yona there be flames here and they 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 both agree to do it they can do it and still remain straight yeah be, them having sex or expressing their desire for the other man or sleeping with the other man doesn't change their sexual orientation mm. it then becomes and we can contextualize and broaden it further when now that man engages with the experience of what have i just done now aha what was even the fact that led me to desire because homosexuality is an example aaron mm. you physically and emotionally attracted to the person of your same sex yeah however with men who sleep with men an example they mm-hmm. don't desire other men from an emotive perspective they mm-hmm. desire other men from a lust or a desire that i want to it's more like nganiwe i'm thirsty i'm going to get water yeah so i desire you i'm going to have sex with you and it ends there let's make a simple example so i'm saying i'm a straight man and i desire women emotionally intellectually and otherwise ne what could possibly make me desire another man is it maybe the shape of the butt or is it the the, the size of the crouch or is it the chest what could possibly sexually attract me to another man if i'm a straight man if, if, if i'm even wondering if is there called a thing such called a straight man let's use from my term. perspective okay okay fair enough i was so gay but you know, from your perspective you still say i'm i'm not interested in that from your perspective there's no such a thing as a straight man what do you mean No, I always say to my straight friends, so-called straight friends, I'm a daughter of straight, I like spaghetti, right? Before okay. you put spaghetti in hot water, it's still firm. Unfortunately, you're a scientist, right? So what happens when you put spaghetti in manzina shisai? It bends and it gets softer. You yes. Know? So is it... What? Why? 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 Aaron? <laughs> Aaron, why men are always so conscious to put two straight men in the same bed they want two separate blankets why they want to sleep in their clothes they want to face opposite direction yes yes because they are straight what? and i'm thinking what? very very good observation in fact because if they are really straight and they contend and comfortable with it why can't they just sleep that's the thing but okay mm. fair enough another argument will be called that we are making people gay or we are recruiting yeah. people in- being gay but in, in coming to way, in, yeah. in coming to what we speaking about Aaron is that there there are even research studies there's a guy called Haley Matutu he did a study mm-hmm. on men sleeping with men in Cape Town and it's quite interesting even men who are heterosexual ideally would prefer to be bottom when they are with other men and they were very clear that i i do not assume a feminine position but my sexual preference when i engage with another man i want to be a bottom a bottom is so, someone who prefers to assume um, a sexual preference or not on the basis of femininity or masculinity yeah somebody yeah. to put it bluntly somebody who who says i prefer to bottom is somebody who prefers to be penetrated when they see yes. the man in the eye so a straight man wanting to be penetrated because they desire another man to do that to them but it doesn't mm. mean that they are less of a man or they are weaker but their preference when they engage with another mm. man from a desire perspective their preference is that i would want to be penetrated there is not all of them there is only some of them according to the research some of them. Right? yeah yeah okay. yes what um, for, what, 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 what it disapp- um, for, for underscore for what is what a disappointing narrative no straight men we say no straight men because i think we've, we've come up with so many labels which is why today's topic is called uh, yeah, yeah, sexual yeah. labels there's sexual sexual there's bisexual there's gay there's lesbian the entire alphabet gang so by saying no straight men that's being shallow about it so for for going to leave it uh, there for you on that part so yeah. but then um 
Do you think had we not have labels, was it going to be possible that everybody can just have sex with whoever they desire? As you're saying that an act of sex emanates from a sexual desire, not necessarily um, desiring somebody because of their sexuality or because of their gender even. If, if we are to remove gender from this, um, because gender is what leads to the governance of sex and pleasure sex mm -hmm. in relation to pleasure what we try the argument that we're trying to make or the thesis that we're trying to make here aaron is that desire and pleasure is is not only limited to gender yeah. it, at the same time it's not limited to i'm, I'm laughing at one thank you for your compliment that under the, <laughs> under the winter. <laughs> thank you so much for your compliment um mm. Um, so for, for, for me, Aaron, the, the, the argument that we're making that we're trying to suggest that let's not limit pleasure and desire or desire and pleasure into gender. You can be who you want to be and how you want to be. And this is where the word queer also comes in. Um, yeah. Because being queer means you are open to fluidity, right? Queer accommodates various labels and various and even for people Aaron, who do not want to be categorized with labels however yeah. in the queer community in the lgbti community the reason why we have these labels and categorizations of either your top or, or bottom or versatile and all of that or vest it, top or vest bottom helps. and all that remember we are a queer community for any community there's language for mm. any community, there are ethics. For any community, there are rules of engagement and all of that. So for the queer mm. community to have these labels is for functionality of how mm. that space operates. However, yeah. in our argument is that let us not um, crucify those who opt to satisfy their desire yeah. through non-hegemonic ways, meaning that through non-normative ways of how, because how we socialize is that if you've got a penis, you must desire a vagina. Yeah. But there are men like us who are not desiring that. And what is wrong with and me it, desiring what is it? And it's so true. I mean, one example that comes to mind right now, one business that is really thriving at the moment is the swingers clubs. For instance, I know about three of them in Joburg only. Um, two of them in Santa and one in Midland, where married couples and i'm talking heterosexual married couples and some um gay couples whether married or not um they go to this club and when they get there they both agree that baby we're going to share you're going to go play with women i'm going to go play with men or vice versa yeah. that is thriving in the dark because people feel safe there there are no labels um and there's this whole norm of saying if you're straight or if you're heterosexual and you sleep with a man, you are never straight or you were never straight even before. Or they, they turn you or they convert you to being gay. But the other way around, if you're gay and you sleep with a woman, I never hear about you. Um, now you're straight, you're not gay anymore. So do you think if we get rid of labels, people would openly come out? Do you think people are afraid of following their desires and practicing what they want? purely based on the fear of being labeled? Yeah, it, 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 that's the safest place to be. But we thrive in a society and communities that love labels, right? Yeah. Hence now you're going to find even the categories of people that are called after nines because mm -hmm. they are moving away from the general norm of being policed and all of that. So they rather you can do it behind the scenes, or other people can make arrangements of what you've just described now. But mm -hmm. for me, for any conversation around sex, around pleasure, around desire, you, you even you, how, how do you reduce, Aaron, a straight man's experience with one man to mm -hmm. sexual orientation? Yeah, true. It could have been that they just kissed that person once, and that was it. And does mm. that experience of kissing another man or sleeping with another man or a woman sleeping with another woman makes them gay? No. It was... Mm. Society has these ways of governing 
and managing people and to the point that they've managed even desire. There's no way, Aaron, we can limit desire to one gender or how it should be. So it's very frustrating. And for me as a therapist that works with people who are defining themselves, people who are going against the grain and again, mm -hmm. certain notions of certain beliefs of certain um, spiritual practices and all of that, they yes. denounce people's experiences of, express, of expressing pleasure in ways that we know men who sleep with men or men yeah. who are gay. The, the, the most powerful book, the Bible, is used mm. as a tool to speak against that. So people would lean towards more labels that are more socially acceptable. It takes mm. Aaron and Anele, who are very brave in society, to go against the grain, to pleasure exactly, themselves. Yeah.